everyone welcome back to my channel for today's video i'm pretty much just gonna be getting ready talking to you guys updating you guys a little bit of what's been going on in my life so if you want to see how i go from this to this make sure to stay tuned and watch the full video i really hope you guys enjoy it thank you so much for watching and let's get into the video for today i'm just gonna be pretty much getting ready and talking i mainly want to do this video because there has been so much things happening in my life and my hair We'll get to that, but you know, life just changes out of nowhere sometimes. So I just want to do a video, just pretty much talking and just kind of updating, like a little life update of what's been going on. Nothing too too crazy, but you know, stuff does happen. And I don't know. I personally like to watch these because I like to know what's going on in people's life, even if I don't even like know them personally. I just like knowing that I'm not, I'm not the only one going through certain things or certain like big changes, even small changes. So this is kind of what I'm trying to do here today. I like watching these type of videos when I'm getting like ready or I'm just trying to like hear someone talk while I'm doing something and just kind of stay entertained. So today I am here in the room with Georgie. He's somewhere over there on the phone. So Georgie is one of my big updates because he is three and almost eight months. And he understands, he talks, he he's big, he's like a big boy now. And it's crazy because as a parent, time flies by so fast. Like seeing them grow, seeing their milestones and you're just like, how did that happen? And you're like, that's how you realize like time goes by so fast and sometimes we don't take advantage of it. Like now that he's big and walking and he doesn't need me as much. Is when you, I kind of want him to want me more, but when he was younger and he like needed me the most, I felt like I needed a break because it's tiring being a parent. But now I miss it, so it's like confusing. But I'm pretty sure most of you moms, dads understand what I mean. So yeah, Georgie's my biggest life update because he just keeps growing and he keeps making me the happiest. I'm just so happy to have my baby. I'm so happy to have Georgie. Um, let me get started with something because I'm just going to be talking and not doing anything with myself. So I'm going to be talking a lot, probably. Hopefully I remember most of the things I have to say. This video was not planned. So I'm just kind of talking from like my mind, which doesn't remember a lot of stuff. I am very forgetful. So hopefully I say everything that I do want to say in this video. Let's start off with primer. I actually got this for my birthday from my best friend. I wish I had like some cute pins to grab my hair back, but I don't. I have some bobby pins, so I'm gonna do bobby pins. A small update is that I no longer have nails. I don't know if you guys were aware, but I had nails for like maybe two or three months. I'm not sure exactly how long, but I had nails and I felt very girly. But now I have no nails and I still have like the how do you say it? Like, you know when you take your nails off, se quedan like all tiernitas o blanditas? That's how they are right now, and I don't like how they look. I actually feel better, like, not having nails, but they look super cute on, so I might just get some, like, shorter ones now that I'm not returning back to work. So now returning back to work is a big update because I am now working with George. He started his own business, so we are doing that now, which is crazy and exciting at the same time like it's crazy and exciting to do something so new so so different that you're not used to you're used to like a regular job oh gosh. but yeah so now i could get nails because back at work i wasn't able to and now i could do whatever i guess so i could do my nails now so which is fun the business consists of transporting cars it's called hot shotting i was so used to the regular like going at four in the morning don't know what time you're getting out type of situation being moved around so i'm excited because i don't have to be like really bossed around that much just a little bit but at the same time it is a big responsibility because you work as much as you want to work so you have to work hard and just it's really like your mindset how much you want to do so it's hard in that terms you have to have a strong mindset and 
not to get lazy because you could you could work or you could not work so just try to keep that mindset and be motivated so it is a big difference from work that you just okay you have a schedule you go you could be lazy you could whatever you're getting paid by the hour so this way here is different because over here you're making as much as you want so it's exciting it's scary but it's awesome because it's just awesome like doing something Especially for him, you know, like, this is pretty much, I'm just supporting his dream because I know he's been wanting to do this for the longest. And of course, we're married, so I will support him in whatever he wants to do. Just like he supports me now and how I know he'll support me later on and some future dreams and goals that I do have. So, yeah, it's, it's going pretty good in our life right now. And, you know, just taking things step by step. I'm not exactly where I want to be 100%, but we're getting there. And sometimes I do get frustrated and I do get like annoyed, but I just do have to remember that everything is with time. Like just let time be and you know, you'll get there eventually. And sometimes like I try to tell myself that, you know, when I'm like getting all like desesperada, but start to relax. Everything will be fine as long as we're all together as a family, as long as we're healthy, we're okay. That's always what I try to think about. Like there's nothing, that's what I always keep in my head. Like there's nothing too bad in this world like as long as we're together as long as we're healthy everything is fine any problem could be resolved it's okay so yeah, i always try to keep that in my head too because life can be crazy and very hard if you have a dream go for it it might be hard it might take a long time but just step by step you'll get there and yeah like if you're lost it's okay we're all lost i'm a little lost um just I kind of take it day by day, try to figure out your stuff, and you'll get there eventually. So moving on to foundation. I did my makeup really good yesterday using a brush, so I'm going to try the brush again today. Um, I feel like I'm missing a lot of <laughs> technique. I feel like I'm missing a lot of um, like brushes and like stuff that I need for my makeup because... Sometimes I just don't know what I'm doing. Most of the time I don't know what I'm doing. I just um, go along with it. Like right now I think I put too much foundation on my face. I was trying to go very light. And I still have a lot extra over here where I put it. So yeah. It's not what I wanted. <laughs> I put too much foundation. I'm just going to try to blend it out now. Just try not to go into my eyes because I'm going to be... Putting concealer. Woo. So today we're going to a little girl's birthday party, and I want to look like not too much, but feel cute at the same time. What are what other life updates do I have? I had thought about so many, and you know, I'm like blink. Okay, so my camera was overheating, so I did a makeup a little bit off camera, and then I was hungry. I went, I made myself some food, then Georgie wanted some raspado, so we went, chased down the Lotero guy, came back, watched a little part of a movie, which made me want to cry so bad. I was trying to hold it in because I did some makeup, and I didn't want to like, ruin anything, but we'll just watch it later. George and Georgie are in the sala where we were watching the movie, so they, they stayed over there. Why I come and I get ready. So, yeah, I did a lot. And my makeup is still not done, or my hair. I feel like my hair is always falling in everywhere. So, I still have some eyelash glue from the eyelashes yesterday. I can't find mines. I used my friends yesterday. So, I was thinking, like, what should I update you guys on? And. I don't know, like, I always do this whenever I'm, like, recording. I forget how to talk, what to talk about. So, I kind of wanted to talk about some things that I have done that I just I haven't mentioned or, like, talked about. The first thing is that I was actually seeing a therapist. Because this year has not been easy. I'm getting nervous. So... 2021 has not been easy at all and I'm not just talk, talking about COVID and how COVID has affected our lives of course that's part of it but not it so I've just had a really hard year 
I just watched an emotional movie and I'm starting to talk about something emotional for me. It's like not a good idea because I am an emotional person. I don't know. I don't even know what colors to use right now. So I went to see a therapist and the therapist that I went to go see was actually um, somebody from work. The company has a special therapist for their employees. So I went to see her. It was good to talk to someone. And I feel like that's going to be the most hard thing, like for me not working there anymore, like not having that person to go and talk to because I had her to talk to. Yes, I have George, I have my mom, I have family, friends, but it's not the same as talking like to a therapist because she studied that field, she needs like knows better answers, you know, she's just, it's not the same. So that's, I think, one of the main things that I'm going to miss about working at my old job, just the perks, the benefits, because... I only had a couple months seeing her and after leaving her offices I would always feel better like relief like just getting things out of my chest because like I mentioned this year has not been easy and I am the type of person that hides my emotions a lot like I pretend to be okay like things don't bug me when of course they do and I hate that so much because there's been so many times where I just want to cry. I just want to say things and I hold it in. And I don't know how this video got to this point, but we're here. And I'm talking about my emotions and how I feel like I am. I feel like I'm emotionally damaged. Am I emotionally drained? I don't know the word. But I just feel like I don't know how to, I don't know how to guide my emotions. I don't know how to listen to my emotions, to the things that I need sometimes, which is crazy to say out loud. Because I think of all these things in my head, right? But like right now that I'm talking to the camera, which is just a reflection looking back at me, I'm just pretty much talking to myself and telling myself what's wrong with me it's it's a little crazy once you do stuff like that and that's why i enjoy recording myself because yes i'm talking to people i know people are going to see this video but right now i'm in my room by myself with the camera just pretty much me talking to myself I feel like we've all gone we've all gone through stuff that we kind of push to the side but eventually it just piles up and we just we don't know how to handle it. Like, we don't know how to talk about it. We don't know what to do with it. And we just kind of just hide it and leave it piled and piled. So, yeah. I'm thinking of finding a another therapist because I can't go back to that one because I'm not working there. So, yeah. When that first day that I went to my therapist, I was very nervous. Oh, my God. I was so nervous. We're just going in to something new. And I was very nervous. But I'm very glad that I did that. I... I feel like I have changed a lot. Lately, I have been catching myself just thinking of the past, like in a good way, because I've been reflecting on the things that I regret doing, the things that I wish I would do more. Um, some of the things that I regret doing were just not doing enough, not doing, not doing things the right way. Things that I miss doing is being more confident. I remember back then I did not care people's opinion. I was more positive towards myself. Like I, I knew I wasn't perfect, but I would see myself and I would think that I was pretty. Now, I still do, but not the same way. Like I'm not as, I'm not as confident as I was back then. You could say that for sure. It's life. It's a roller coaster. It's life. It's a roller coaster. And I feel like I've just kind of been not doing things that I've been wanting to do lately either. I feel like once you have a kid, you lose yourself. Once you are a parent, you put your child before you. Which is, of course, awesome and amazing, you know? My palette fell. Which is good. You should put your child first before most things. But don't forget about yourself. And that's kind of what I did, I think what's kind of affected me lately too is that 
he is three now and he doesn't need me as much and I don't know what to do with myself I feel like I'm just there I feel like I'm just wasting my time like I feel like I'm not doing enough because he doesn't need me anymore and before he did so I have been thinking a lot about joining like a club or like an activity a hobby something I want to do something with myself so I need to do my hair it'll take like an hour hopefully less because it's already straightened mostly where am I going? I still need to do... No, I still need to do my eyelashes. I was going to do eyelashes, but I cannot find my eyelash glue, so I think I'm just going to do mascara. It's not a bad idea either. Also, just like really quick and like a little random, but... What do you guys think about daddy issues? Like, do you guys think it's true? I'll post a definition somewhere here. I've honestly read up on it a lot because i think i have daddy issues like i really think i have daddy issues from what i've read i feel like it is true but a lot of people make like fun of the whole daddy issue thing like they see it as something like i don't know funny sexual i don't know i honestly think it's true and it's not at all funny or anything like that the reason that i bring that up is because I feel like I have that because me and my dad do not have a close relationship at all. And that is a whole other like topic. It's in a whole other subject, a whole other video. Like if we ever like get into that, but I even wanted to bring it up because that's what like came to my head right now. I'm thinking about my dad right now and just what came to my head about that issues. I tried doing my eyeliner but it is a no go. It's dry and it just looks weird. What do I do now? I want to clean it up. Like, it doesn't look bad, bad. I mean, a little bit. Another thing, I am very unorganized. And I want to change. Like, I really want to change. Like, right now, I don't know where my brushes are. I don't know where most of my things are. Oh, my God. That brings me to the funniest, saddest you brought me a little snack, some marshmallows? Mmm. I like them toasted. Are yummy? Yeah? I like it. Yeah. Talking about being unorganized, I am also very forgetful. And what was it? Last month in August, I lost my car keys. Not only did I lose mine, I lost my sister-in-law's. This is because we had, the day before we had gone to the beach, and I was taking stuff off of her car, and I, I had to put some in my car. And I honestly think I just threw the keys in the trash. Like in the big trash cans that they pick up. And they dump in the trucks. Right there. So I think I lost them there because I could not find them. I just, oh my god, it was so bad. And then I took my car. Um, George has the roadside assistance. So they came, they picked up my car. They took it to Mercedes. And the lady at Mercedes was like, we cannot help you because my registration had a different name than my license did <sighs> so i was like oh my god and it was just like like what like i actually got my car towed because they needed the car there to like get some info off it and i don't know what they weren't cheap keys and i was only gonna be one but I was so frustrated because I remember that day I was like trying to hurry up. Me and George were like dropping off cars. We had to hurry up to go do that. And what I finally decided to do, I just called the guy, like those guys that have like a van to come and do my key. This was after I went to try a Mercedes and it didn't work out. I just came back and I looked up this guy. I had his phone number, but I was a little hesitant because... A guy in the van to do your Mercedes keys is a little like sketch. So I was like, no, what if he doesn't do them right? What if it doesn't work out? Or, you know, just thinking of all of that. But I was so like just wanting to drive my car again. Like I needed my car. I couldn't move. I, was, I felt stuck. So I'm like, okay. And it was like the same price. I think it was like $10, $15 cheaper. So I was like, whatever, just, you know, like do my keys. But uh, when I told them to do the keys for me, I wasn't here so he was pretty much like, I can't do the keys without you here. He had to leave 
I was so upset because I was like, no, he's not going to want to come back later. Then I'm going to have my keys. And blah, blah, blah. I was like so upset that he couldn't do them without me being there. So like I, we rescheduled. Like good thing like he like wanted to reschedule. And yes, he came and he checked my um checked my registration. He checked my ID, make sure like it was my car. And yeah, so he ended up doing the keys. You guys, it took like an hour or two, like probably less than two. And he had my keys all done. So I was like so excited. I was so happy. I am so happy because my keys. But um, before I did my keys, I did do my sister-in-law's because I lost the keys. So I did hers before I did my cars. Uh, this happened just a month ago. And it feels like, like it was just yesterday because it was a hassle to get my keys for my car. I remember just feeling so like, oh, annoyed. I was like, why did this happen? I, and I looked for the keys everywhere. So... They must have been like they must be like in the dumpster right now. You don't like it? No. Okay, so hours later, I am finally ready because I was debating so hard on what to wear. <sighs> and finally, I'm just gonna go with something comfortable. I'm wearing my little jean jacket because it's a little cloudy outside and it does get fresher now at night. Um, I also wear something totally off, totally cute, but wasn't like the most comfortable thing. I'm just going with this. So this is my hair. I had planned to do something really cute with my hair, like maybe like little braids or whatever, but I just kind of flipped it this way so I could, I don't know. I'm not sure what to do with my hair. I am almost never sure what to do with my hair. Instead of eyelashes, I did just do mascara. I did do mascara and a little liner. I tried my best. So yeah, this is the end results. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe and until next time.